the EPA ruling is a big deal, folks. Um, it was a, a divided Supreme Court, six to two, which found that the EPA, well, essentially it resurrected the rule targeting air pollution that, that, uh, that drifts across state borders. Um, under the Federal Clean Air Act, downward states uh, were to be protected from pollution, mostly uh, from coal-fired power plants. Uh, the rules from 2011 were challenged by a coalition of upwind states and industry, which had prevailed in lower courts. The bottom line is they were challenging the EPA based upon its formula for determining how much pollution essentially could be allowed to drift down to the other states. Um, specifically, the uh, you know it had to do with the the. The, the nature of the EPA rulemaking in terms of considering costs. But um, the good news is this is it empowers the EPA. Uh, it will allow the EPA even broader authority in regulating all sorts of other types of uh, pollutants in the air. Uh, it's good news. Now, meanwhile... Apparently, there was an error, like an embarrassing error, not the normal error that Scalia makes <laughs> in uh, his writing and dissents, but a sort of a, a, a completely objective error. On page 12 of the dissent, Scalia writes, this is not the first time EPA has sought to convert the Clean Air Act into a mandate for cost-effective regulation." Apparently, that is not correct. He cites Whitman v. American Trucking Association in 2001, confronted EPA's contention that it could consider costs in setting NACs, which are, I guess, the, uh, the, the standards and the calculation as to how much pollution can go in the air. Whitman did involve the claim that the Clean Air Act allowed the EPA to consider costs in setting the NACs, but it was not the EPA that argued in favor of considering the costs. EPA's position in the 2001 case was exactly the opposite of what Scalia suggested it was in his dissent. The agency was defending its refusal to consider cost as a counterweight to health benefits when setting certain air quality standards. It was the trucking industry that wanted the EPA to factor in cost. The 9-0 ruling sided with the EPA. The author of that ruling that Scalia mischaracterized was none other than Antonin Scalia himself. So somebody made a boo-boo. They have since corrected it in the, uh, in the published dissent by the Supreme Court. But it's good news for the EPA and uh, good news for your ability to breathe.